What's up? Welcome to Storytime with AJ. I'm your host, AJ. In this week's episode, I'll tell you how I got a free ski vacation for getting naked. Thanks for joining me, guys. Let's just jump into it. So I'm in college, super into snowboarding at this point, and my buddies decide that they want to go on a ski trip out of town. Where we lived, there was a small ski resort, but we wanted to go to a larger one. So we all packed up and decided to head out for a ski trip. So my two buddies, Ron and Shields, were both like, they both grew weed. So these guys are balling. And me, I'm working as a pizza delivery guy at the time. So I'm not balling. I mean, I'm selling like weed on the side for spending money and to have free smoke. But I'm not balling like these guys. But what I do have is the car with the ski racks. So they said, let's take your car. We'll pay for gas. And then you pay the rest of your way. I was like, sweet, let's do it. So we pack up on a Friday and we head out. So we leave super early in the morning and we make it to the ski resort area about nine o'clock and we decide that we're just going to hit the slopes hard that day and then we'll get a hotel room, rest, go back the next day and then leave at the end of the day on the second day. So we'll only have to pay for a motel for one night. So I brought just enough money to cover my part of the hotel room, my lift ticket and like 99 cent food and shit, you know, I'm I'm eating McDonald's or freaking Taco Bell or whatever the hell I can get. These guys are going to Whole Foods or some shit. What I didn't plan for and what I didn't budget for was that me and Shields actually met two strippers on the lift while we were snowboarding and asked them to come party with us that night. So me, wanting to impress these chicks, me, Shields, and Ron all start buying drinks, getting hammered. We're at the local bar. They're playing music. Everybody's dancing. So I think it's a good idea to start dancing on the bar where the chicks are dancing. Well, the local bouncers didn't like that too much, so they told me to get the fuck off the bar, which I didn't take too kindly to, but I didn't want to get kicked out. I'm trying to get laid here, so I get off the bar and just go back and start drinking and hanging out. That's until I down like another two or three drinks, and then I'm in my head. I'm like, fuck those bouncers. I'm going to go dance. So I'm not a complete idiot. I don't try to get back up on the bar. But what I do do is I go to the dance floor. Now the dance floor is lined with like a railing on all sides. And they have huge like speakers, like a wall of speakers. So of course I'm getting loose and getting down with it. And I think it's a good idea that everybody should see me dance. So I get up on top of the speakers with my drink. So the bouncer asshole thinks that this isn't acceptable either and comes over and starts chewing me out that if I don't get down, I'll get booted out. So I'm like, all right, all right, all right, I'll get down. So I keep dancing on the dance floor until I think it's a good idea to get up on the railing. At this point, uh, the bouncer's had it. This is the third strike. He's like, you're fucking out of here. I need your drink. And I'm like, no way. This is a whiskey and fucking 7-Up. I'm not just giving it to you. Let me drink it. He's like, give me your drink. So I just downed it. And then gave him the empty glass, which he didn't find too funny. So he's pushing me and my friends out the front door, telling us to get the fuck out and never come back. Unfortunately, we went home empty-handed, no strippers, and had to leave a little bit early. And now I'm broke as fuck. So now I'm screwed. I don't even have money for a lift ticket the next day. And when I wake up in the morning, we go eat the free breakfast at the front of the hotel. And I'm like bugging shields. Like, yo, hook me up with some fucking money. I'll get you when we get back home. I need a lift ticket. But with this motherfucker, there's always strings attached. He has no problem giving up the money for like the rest of the trip, but he wants something in return. And in fact, he doesn't even want me to pay him back. He wants some crazy bet that I have to go through with. So we're trying to brainstorm shit uh, while we're on the lift. And the first idea is I'm pretty tall. Like I'm a pretty big guy. Like I'm 6'1", you know, muscular build. And he thought it would be funny if they had pictures of me pushing kids over in the kid's ski area. And I was like, "Ah, I don't feel like fighting a family today. So that's a negative. I like how my opposition is not like I'm opposed to pushing kids over because I would totally do that. My opposition is like, man, I'm too tired to fight a whole family. So no, I'm good. So plan B that we came up with while we're waiting to get on the chairlift again was that we thought it would be hilarious if somebody took a shit off of the chairlift. So I was completely on board with this on the ground. But that's until we got on this chairlift and I realize you're probably like 200 feet in the air and I've got to get my ass out of the seat, turn it around, get my ass exposed to take a shit and then I might shit on my board which would be like not the greatest scenario because then i have shit on my snowboard 
But the worst case scenario would be if I turn around and start taking a shit and then fall off of the ski lift so I perish in a pile of my own shit on the side of a mountain. Now, I don't know about you, but that's not the way I want to go out. If I'm going out on a ski trip, I want to be eaten by a bear or covered in an avalanche or some shit that makes you look cool. Not like falling to your death in a pile of your own shit. So scratch that one off the list of to-dos. So last run of the day, we remembered that when we drove up to the ski resort, there was a bunch of frozen lakes by there. And so these fucking savages are like, we got it. You're going to fucking jump into that lake naked. We get to take photos and your trip's paid for. I was like, fuck it. I'm in. So we stay until the day lift shut down and then we start heading out. Now, mind you, it's only a two lane road out of this fucking ski resort. So we're with everybody else that's leaving the ski resort and we pull over for for this like iced over lake. It's like water, but it has like ice floating on the top of it. So I jump out of the car, grab I had like a blanket in the back, like a shagging blanket. So you can put it down over the back seat if you had like you know some road loving going on anyway i pull that out that's going to be my towel because we don't have any towels and i take off my shirt so i'm just standing like with my snowboard pants on and take off my shoes and i'm just standing on the blanket waiting waiting for this to go down well more waiting for these assholes to get their cameras ready so once they're kind of ready i'm like trying to get pumped up and warm i'm doing like push-ups like running around doing jumping jacks and shit to try and get sweated up to get ready to go into the fucking o- this frozen lake so these usually call me pussy hurry up and get this over with so without warning i just drop my snowboard pants fucking butt ass naked and start running into the lake the problem is is the lake isn't that deep i'm only like at like ankle high water and i'm probably like 10 yards in On top of this, I'm running back towards the two-lane highway where everybody's bumper-to-bumper traffic moving one mile an hour, leaving the ski resort. So if you're in your car and you look to your left, you'll see a grown-ass man running naked across a frozen lake in about calf-high water at this point. And I'm running out of real estate, and I don't want to get shot because they think I'm some maniac trying to carjack people. So I did the next best thing. I just did a straight belly flop into this frozen lake. Which is freezing. My God, is it cold. And so now I got to get up out of the water and my arms aren't working like they should. I mean, I probably have like slight hypothermia in my like extremities. And I start running back towards shore. Well, these are where the best pictures come in. Because I literally look like the biggest three-year-old you've ever seen. I mean, if any ladies are listening to this, first of all, reevaluate your life. But second of all, when men get in water, especially cold water, there's shrinkage that happens there. So yeah, I'm hung like a five-year-old at this point. But those pictures have never surfaced. I mean, I can't run for office and I got a sweet fucking snowboarding trip out of it for free. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the story. If you did, uh, leave GTA man a like or a sub. Anyway, until I see you guys next time, have a great rest of your weekend. Peace.